Hello YouTube, Arrow Assassin here today and welcome back to another video and today you guys wanted me to do a fire mage guide so I'm going to try to do it to the best of my ability and let's go ahead and get over it with the talents first. Next is fire starter, pyromaniac, and searing touch. The one you want to go with is pyromaniac simply due to the fact that you're going to be getting a lot of procs obviously so you have an 8% chance when you use a hot streak to actually get it again so you can just do it over and over and get so many procs at once so it's really nice for that. And the reason why I go with that is Fire Starter is not going to be useful for what I'm going to explain shortly later. And Searing Touch, uh, it, I just feel like Scorch is pretty much honestly not really worth using. So, uh, you, I very, barely, rarely use it. So, I go with Pyromaniac for the extra pro uh, procs. Next, I would go with Shimmer. Simply, simply due to the fact that you get an extra two, uh, you get two blinks right now, and then simply do the fact if you're being jumped on in your middle of the casting and you don't want to get interrupted or anything, you could just go ahead and blink through that, and then you might actually get your cast off. So, I feel like that really is overall a very useful talent. Uh, the other ones are okay. I mean, they're they're just okay, but overall, I feel like Shimmer is just the way to go. Simply do the fact if you're in the middle of a cast. And you can just go ahead and a melee gets close to you. You just go ahead and blink and you might get your cast off. Next, I would go with flow simply due to the fact that mirror image isn't really all that too terribly useful uh, for fire in my opinion. And rune of power is okay, but you're going to be on the move a lot. So you're not going to be standing still in my opinion. So flow is the way to go. Next, I would go with Phoenix Flames for the next one. You get three charges. It always deals a critical strike, so that way you can build up your more procs for uh, Pyromaniac. Uh, Flame On can be pretty good as well. So if you want to use Flame On, that's very useful as well. But overall, I just like Phoenix Flames. Simply due to the fact it's another also pretty nice to have another extra, extra button. And it also deals critical strike. And overall, I just feel like it's really, really awesome ability. Next row, I feel like none of these are uh, all that bad but I go with ring of frost simply due to the fact that you can use it to block tunnels you can block groups in middle and eye of the storm for example you can block av towers if you wanted to I just feel like overall it has a ton more use than uh some of the other ones but maybe frantic speed could be good for world pvp if you're solo and you want to kite somebody I guess so frantic speed could be okay but overall I feel like ring of frost is pretty much the way to go to you could stand in it and if somebody gets close to you, they get frozen. That's really all there is to it. Next uh, row, I feel like none of these are really too special. But I just go with Living Bomb for the extra button. And if you put Living Bomb on a target, and it spreads over to all the other ones. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So it's like a huge AoE kind of ability. So like... It goes off after three seconds and you have it on a huge group. It transfers to the other targets and that's just more numbers. So that's the reason why I use it. Next is meter. You're going to want this for the huge amount of burst it's going to be doing, which I'll show you guys shortly. Uh, honor talents. Gladiator's medallion is what I use. Um, the next two are that are mandatory are temporal shield for the extra survivability. I feel like every mage uses this. I've never seen any mage not use this. So, Temporal Shield is the way to go if you want to live longer. And Greater Power Blast, one of my favorite abilities in the game. It's really satisfying to get off, and I would recommend this 100% if you're going to want to play Fire Mage, because it's one of the main hardest dealing damage abilities we have, in my opinion. Followed by Meteor, of course. Uh, Tinder, you can replace this if you want to with whatever else you want. If you want to use something else, that's strictly up to you. What I have, uh, what, what I have been using... Is tender, but I also kind of like fire starter because your fireball reduces the cooldown of uh, your burst by five seconds. So if you keep using it, your burst will be up faster. So not really 100% sure yet what I want to um, use yet for this last one. There's a bunch of different ones if you want to use. It really honestly doesn't really matter in my opinion what you use. Some of them are good. Uh, some of them are not really that good, but it's strictly uh, up to you. I have my dog with me, so if you hear her, I apologize. Uh, but yeah. Alright, so, um, traits. My favorite traits, personally, are Fire Mind, which, you're, like I said, you're going to be doing lots of hot streaks, so you'll be getting Intellect, and it stacks up to three times. And I believe this stacks, unfortunately I only have that, because this tune is only like a day old and way behind on the necklace. 
So, but yeah. Uh, you can see it stacks up to 55, I guess, the next time I get it. So if you want to stack those, you can go ahead and uh, do that. Uh, another one I like is Glory and Battle for more crit and haste, so you can get your spells off faster. Or the extra crit, so that way you get more instant uh, power up rocks. And next is Swirling Sands. So like I said, more crit equal more power blast rocks. So overall, it's the reason why I like it. So as of right now, those are my... Um, favorite traits uh, i'm sure there's a bunch of different ones i have not seen yet but uh those are the ones i personally like uh now let's go over rotation so this is like a this is a little tune i have up right now so unfortunately i can't really perfectly test this on somebody but yeah if you're say you're getting jumped on for example and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to force their trinket any way you possibly can. Whether they trinket from Nova, which not a lot of classes will do, but probably something like maybe Demon Hunter or Warrior. I've seen some of them do it. Um, you can also Dragon's Breath. And then sometimes people do trinket that. Or Polymorph them, which is most likely they'll actually trinket that. And then once they trinket that, you're going to want to Polymorph again and then quickly use Greater Power Blast. You'll only get a f perfect second to do that. And then once that's done, you'll go ahead and try and get them low here. And then you're going to want to Dragon's Breath them one more time after you use Meteor, of course. I should have used Meteor first. And then um, just go from there. So let's go over one more time. This is going to be what the rotation is going to be looking like. So as soon as I get our health back up. All right, there we go. So this is pretty much the rotation of what you're going to want to do. You'll want to go ahead and pop Greater Power Blast. Pop your combustion here, pop your uh, burst here, get those instant procs, and then that's pretty much the rotation, guys. And you can see, I uh, pretty much completely annihilated the druid. Um, one last thing is the macro. This is basically what the macro I, I use. Um, feel free to put whatever you want else in it. You can use a different potion, you can use saltwater potions, you can use your uh, ability if you're a troll or dark iron whatever you want to put in it also put in your on use trinkets unfortunately i don't have any of those i'm still using my stupid legendary <laughs> trinket that's not even working anymore because i haven't gotten a new trinket yet but those are some uh just some examples anyways guys uh hopefully this quick little guide uh answered the questions you guys wanted and if i missed anything feel free to let me know i'll see you guys later